Utopian and Chronicle, Multi Dimensions, Episode 20. Baha takes Bankra. Baha Bahara had now become the first and only returning person out of the new dimensional planes who had made it out into the universe. He was at his home world once more. He was disturbed as he saw banners of Angelica all over the capital city. He then punched lift his army towards the castle. No one laid a hand on him as they were shocked at who they saw walking by them. Bahar Chu, how? How can it be? Chuba, Lord, and the Bahara, stunned faces. As Baha got closer to the throne, to the throne room, where Lord Molo and Kerry were, the whole palace was filled with tension. Lord Molo sat on the, on the throne and Kerry had, had the platinum sword in hand. The giant doors to the throne room swung open and it was Baha in the flesh. The tense meeting was now underway. Baha, abomination of my people. You dare mix with the devils of Lafleur. You sit as head of my people. I have come to liberate them from this ilk. Carry. Abomination? Liberation? You relic of the past. The universe has advanced beyond your ideals. Be gone! He then raised his sword to slay him. But Baha activated his sword to come to him. Now in hand, he used the laser end of his blade to fire his blast at Kerry's heart, which killed her instantly. Lord Molo, get him up. Kerry! You! Kill him now! The troops then moved but was stopped by Baha's men. It was a standoff. Battle. Baha. I refuse. And you should too. In fighting. Of my people. If you wish to settle. Who. Of us. Should rule. Then fight me. Here and now. Momolo. Then. Clear the way men. The soldiers cleared the room. So the two men could fight. Molo lose his space suit armor. To fight along with his rocket sword, which he used in the past war. Baha was not impressed, but fought him regardless. Lomo flew around, dodging Baha's lasers. Laser blast. Molo was trying to buy time so he can figure out how to defeat Baha. Baha was getting impatient, so he jumped on on top of Mo a Molo and destroyed his rocket pack. Now grounded the two clash blades, but it was clear that Baha was the better swordsman. Seeing an opening, Baha severed and cut the legs of Molo. Then Molo's torso was fallen to the ground. Baha then most swiftly cut him, cut off his head. The soldiers were stunned. Baha then went to sit on the throne. All of Baha army then bowed down to the new king. They asked him what he wanted to do now, that he was now lord of all Bankara. Baha said to keep this a secret for now, as he was not yet ready to face the floor yet. So everything operated normally, as if Molo and Kerry were still alive. However, the spy of Angelo saw the whole thing and reported back to him. Angelo. Kerry, brother, spy, what should we do? Angelo, reclaiming his composure. No, nothing. Spy, sorry. Angelo, as long as no one else knows of this and the Baha isn't moving, we can continue the Kardian campaign to himself. They swell once all of Kardian is mine. I'm coming after you, Baha Baha. Brother, wait on my vengeance. Just a bit. Okay, he shares it here.